Hey everyone, this is Tyler and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the three different types of hemp crops. The three main hemp crops are fiber, flower, and seed. We're going to talk about the byproducts for each one of those types of crops. So let's jump right into it. First big one is fiber. The one I think has the most long-term potential as well. You could use this stuff for just about anything. It's getting into clothing and textiles. It's getting into construction materials. It is a plastic substitute. Think about all the plastics you touch on a day-to-day -day basis. It's in everything. There's plastic in your car. It's in, obviously in soda bottles. It's, it's everywhere. It's on this computer that I'm using right now to make this, um, to make this presentation about hemp. So hopefully someday I'll have a computer that's made out of hemp as well. It's also going into um, anything that's a wood product, right? So any tree that's being cut down today, that tree can stay standing while we go out and harvest hemp. There's two main pieces of that hemp stock. You have your herd and your bast. And the herd is the inside piece of that stock. And that's the hardy part. That's the thing that's really going to be replacing uh, wood. So you make a paper out of this, wood floorings, you know, anything your imagination can make up that can replace wood, the inside of that stock for hemp can make. The outside is the bast, and that bast is, has more of a silky um, feel to it, and that's what's going into your textiles. That's what's being used to make clothing. And what's really cool is Levi um, has a type of clothing out there that's about a 69% cotton, a 31% hemp blend. Uh, so that you can allow for that softness of cotton that everybody likes, uh, but to have a much more sustainable product. Next, we're going to jump into seed. Um, so seed can be used for, you know, really into two main categories. Uh, an oil that kind of is like a, a replacement to a vegetable oil or, or a cooking oil. It's not the type of oil that you hear about where people are like, oh, this is CBD oil. No, that's, that's an entirely different thing. We'll talk about that next. And then you can also use it and you can ground it up and basically use it as a flour substitute. And so um, I tried this hemp pasta a few weeks ago. It was okay. Let's put it that way. It, it was okay. It still has a lot of room for improvement. Uh, but I think as the consumer tastes change uh, that you'll see more of these hemp food products out there. And, and when I say food, I want to distinguish between food and edibles. We'll get into that here in just a second as well. The last thing is flour. This is your third crop, and this is probably the one that's causing the most conversation right, out, right there, right, right now. Getting four main sub-products out of flour. Uh, you have your smokable, which is really have a, has a lot of overlap between uh, the tobacco and the uh, cannabis industry, right? So basically, you're just harvesting these plants. You're taking the flour from the plant. You're drying it. And then you're rolling it up and uh, using it as a, as a tobacco substitute. Another thing that people are doing with flour is they're extracting the cannabinoids from the flour. And actually, that's what I do. I, I'm an extractor. I'm a processor. And what they're doing with that, those cannabinoids afterwards is they're infusing them into different uh, types of products. Probably the most common thing, uh, most popular thing that people are putting it into right now is candy, especially gummies and chocolate. People are eating those up uh, left and right. And uh, for the most part, any of that earthy flavor that you would get is being masked by any of the other flavorings uh, that you would add into candy as well as sugar. I mean, sugar, sugar is, you know, awesome for, for covering up harsh flavors. The other thing you're seeing flour being used for and, and those CBD extracts being used for is uh, tincture. Basically, they're just taking um, CBD extracts, mixing it in with uh, another type of oil uh, to dilute it, and then uh, bottling those up and selling it. And the fourth thing that's really cool about this is um, there is an FDA-approved drug, and it is called Epideliox, and it is approved for two types of very severe, very rare um, seizures uh, that people get through, um, you know, that obviously are, are a serious medical condition. Um, but outside of that, any other claims that people are making um, are 
you know, really, really based on individual um, experiences. Uh, and so we're really still waiting for the FDA to come out with their with their uh, complete science um, on on it. So just a real quick video here, uh, really breaking down the three different types of uh, crops. Like I said, you have your fiber, your flower, and your seed. Thanks for joining me and have a great weekend.